In this video, we're gonna go ahead and check out the best fitness related apps for the Apple Watch. Let's get started. Now this first one I wanna go ahead and show you is a new one that's on my list and that is called Heart Watch Heart and Activities. Now, the reason why I like having complications like this where I can monitor my heart rate is not just for my health, but also when I'm actually doing a workout, I can actually make sure that my heart rate's still up. So in case I get stuck in a conversation, I can keep an eye on that. This way I don't have to warm up again for my workout and I could just go to my next, next set. Making sure I'm burning enough calories efficiently. Now, I did used to use Cardiogram. Cardiogram was what I used to use for this, but it doesn't work very well for a watch OS 6. So I replaced it with this and I haven't had any issues ever since. But this application doesn't simply just do those basic things. It's actually kind of cool. If you use the digital crown and rotate, if you go to pulse, like there's different categories. You could go to pulse, regular, and on workout, remember how I was talking about the warm up? You, could, you actually have like a workout meter right here you could constantly look at. However, there is a one-time purchase of $3, but I think it's worth it because the layout's really clean and it comes with more than just one feature. So yeah, that's this app. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Pacer is the next app, and I already covered this on a previous video, but in case you haven't watched it, since we're focusing on just fitness, I might as well put this in here because I actually use this a lot. Now, I like using this primarily as a watch face complication because it shows me my daily steps right there and resets every time it hits 12. But with this application, you don't have to go to the activity app and scroll down to actually see these numbers. Since it's right here, you can always just view it here. And with this application, you can actually set your daily goals as well. So right now it just says 10,000. But if you go to the main application, you can change that up. And you, not only that, you notice if we go back here, it actually gives you like a little meter, a progression bar. You can actually keep track easier. But that's basically everything there is to know about this application. And it's free to download. Now for this third one is another step tracking app, but this one has a catch. It has a dog. This app is called Step Dog. Title can be questioning after saying it out loud, but it's the same exact concept as the previous app where it just keeps track of your steps. But if you're using this watch face with, that supports these larger size complications, you see here we have a dog, our Husky, and we also have the numbers of steps that we've taken. If you tap on that, it will also show you the progress bar as well as the dog as well. And then on the phone application, you could actually change it to another animal. If you wanted to change it to a different breed of dog, you can. Cat, even a koala, you could change it to those animals. You just have to pay a dollar for the pro version, but that's it. So all animal lovers, I'm sure will love this app. Gymatic Workout, it's the next app that I want to show you guys. It's free to download, but I don't use this app to follow their workout plans. They actually have like a freestyle section. But let me show you. When you launch the app, you have the choice of all these different categories. But the category that's the most interesting one is the free form one. When you select this one, this will actually automatically keep track of your reps. But you see, it also keeps track of your BPM right here, your heart rate, as well as the number of reps and the time you're on idle. So your rest periods. So to show you a quick overview of how this application works, here is me performing barbell bicep curls. So here I was just aiming towards 10 reps. And as soon as I stopped, the watch immediately noticed that. 10 reps. And since my Apple Watch was unmute, out loud it told me the amount of reps that I finished with. So in case I did miscount, I would have been immediately aware to continue to finish those extra reps that I must have missed. And to show you another cool feature that this app has, since this was a new movement that the Apple Watch wasn't familiar with, you can actually save these movements so in the future, the application will automatically know what workout you're performing. So that's really cool. And once you're done with that, you can also log in the weight as well. So this eliminates the need to carry an actual notebook or use your phone and take down notes. So really do check it out if you do a lot of weightlifting. There's a lot more you could do in this app, but that's, those are the main features that I benefit off and I think you guys can too. Now the final ones on our list is the native app by Apple. The activity app is really amazing. I like this one because every month they always change things up. There's always a new award, a new medal to unlock. And not only that is here you can find all the other stats that you've done throughout the day, like your steps, uh, how many stairs, fleet of stairs you climbed and all that good stuff there, as well as distance you traveled throughout the day. And then if you need that extra motivation, if the medals aren't enough for you, you can always challenge your friends who also own Apple Watches. So you can have them there and you can compete against each other on winning more medals 
or completing the rings faster. And then the workout application in general by Apple, I like using this application because if you have a series four or series five, it automatically will detect whatever workout based off the movement that you're doing. So if I'm on the elliptical for more longer than two, three minutes and the Apple Watch notices that, it's gonna immediately push, it's gonna send a push notification to my wrist and then you can start the workout right there and it'll actually credit you the time that you started. So no data is really lost. And another cool thing about this, since it does support hands-free Siri, you can also just let Siri know in general that you like to start this activity and a timer will start and it'll begin counting pretty cool and it basically just automatically logs in everything for you in case you do forget and those were the fitness related apps that i use day to day on my apple watch if you have some you want to add on the list feel free to comment that down below and i'll go ahead and try and include them on the next video for the top 10 fitness related apps instead of five anyway folks thank you so much for watching take care and i'll catch you all in the next one see ya